Schematic symbols for components like resistors, transistors, and integrated circuits are good to understand, but to really make use of them, you need to put them into actual circuits. Turns out, reading schematics is easy when you know what some of the common circuits look like, so we'll take a look at that in a very well-known schematic. The very first part that we're going to look at is the power section, and in that power section, we're going to have decoupling capacitors. A future video will look at what decoupling caps are. For now, make sure your circuit has some capacitors. Next, we see a voltage divider, which is made up of two resistors connected in series. On an Arduino, this is used along with the op amp that's drawn here to select which power source is going to power the circuit. Next, we're going to add our old friend, a blinking LED. And as you can see, we're drawing this LED with a current limiting resistor. Why? Because. Otherwise, bad things can and will happen to the LED or your circuit. So regardless of what you read on the internet, you always need something to limit the current. Okay? Okay. Let's move on. Unless we regulate the voltage, this LED isn't going to blink at all, so let's add a 5 volt regulator. This is a typical linear regulator based on the popular 7805. As you might notice, there are decoupling capacitors on both the input and output of the regulator. Now, as we learned a few minutes ago, you always have to have decoupling capacitors, but I never talked about what values you pick. So how did I pick the two values that I used here? Well, one option is I can go and search the internet, but you know what they say about stuff on the internet. So instead, why don't we go and look at an official source like a datasheet for the part that we're using. We skip to the page with typical examples, we'll actually see one showing a fixed output regulator, which is what we're doing. Look what they show for CN and Cout. And this is why we use the datasheet, because some people on the internet will use really big values like 10 mic or 47 mic, but the datasheet shows what we actually need. So what do we learn from this? Now the 7805 has been around for a very long time. And while it's very common, it's not the only linear regulator that you might see. So let's take a look at another one. This regulator outputs 3.3 volts while using the 5 volt rail as its input. The unique thing about this regulator is that it has an on off, which here is wired directly to 5 volts, which means this regulator is always on. Moving on, we're going to add a reset button to our circuit. Push buttons almost always have four legs, even though they really only have two contacts, and so that's why they're drawn with the four dot. Now one thing that's missing from this schematic is a pull-up resistor, which keeps the pin from floating when it's not being pressed down. This oscilloscope is showing without a pull-up resistor that noise is getting into our circuit. And of course that means... To learn more about pull-up resistors, click here to see a great video made by a really awesome guy. Alright, well... We only have one more circuit left to draw, and that is the actual integrated circuit. Now when we made part two, I showed a really simple integrated circuit. So in this video, I'm gonna show you something slightly more complicated than what was shown before. So it seemed pretty simple to start out and draw a rectangle, then the IO pins, maybe even label them which port that they're on and uh, what the individual pin functions are, but this got very messy very quickly. So why don't we try and clean it up just a little bit? Okay, so this is much easier to read this time, and we can actually see all the pins on the ATmega328. So now we have all the parts of our circuit. Believe it or not, all of these circuits that we saw are pretty common across lots of different types of schematics, and in fact, they're all found on the Arduino Uno reference schematic. This is the actual schematic from the Arduino website, and if I zoom in, you can actually see the same blocks that we just drew, but, you know, all nice and neat. 